In this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to replace the front display on the Samsung Tab S8. I've had this on the hot plate for a long time now because I got distracted by another job. Of course, it happens, you know. So it's been on here for about 20 minutes or so. Power off your device. If, I mean, this has got a pretty smashed up screen up the top there like that, look. But the rest of it is not in bad condition. I'm going to start off with old reliable, the suction cup. It's a little bit broken, this one now, but it's just surviving. We've had imitation ones, but this one has been going for the last five years. We've got some alcohol in a little dropper. It's 99.9% .9 alcohol, and I'm going to run it down the edge that I'm going to take off first. Actually, there's a little crack in it there, so I'm going to go just by the crack. And what I'm doing, I'm just lifting up on the suction cup, and it's going to create a very small gap that's just big enough for us to get the guitar pick into. And I'm just inserting that guitar pick a couple of millimetres. Pry up a little bit and just run it along the edge so that we can separate the screen from the frame. It's held down with some pretty tough adhesive, but if we pull it up and cut through it with the pick, then it's not going to hold it down for long. It's no match for us. If you can, pull it out. Getting it out of the way is, the, is sort of the easiest way to do it, but it doesn't always work that way. So then, once you've got a section done, you can lift up, move the suction cup along, and then carry on on another edge. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to move it onto this edge over here. And we're just going to keep working our way around. I'll add some alcohol where it gets a bit stiffer. If we come into any resistance, just a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Remember what I said about grabbing hold of the adhesive and pulling it out? If you can do that, then it really helps. It just makes it a bit easier. But now we're, we're moving on. The screen's nearly come away now. And now we're just going to carry on working our way around. And then this bit's going to be the trickiest bit. Just where it's broken the most. Wiggle it. Pull on it. Well, you just got to be aware of, if you look underneath... The cable runs sort of here, so just don't grab under there. That's the only thing to watch out for. But I'm just going to wiggle it side to side to pull it off like that. And that should be away. So when you're handling this, you want to lift the screen up like that and then sort of slide it like that. Right, so now that we're into the device and we've got the screen resting upside down like that, what we're going to do, there's a bit of uh, green tape holding down the LCD there. So we're just going to peel that back like that. I'm just literally going to peel it back, hold it out of the way, and then you've got a zip connector, which lifts like that. That lifts up just like that, and then you can just pull the LCD connector out. On the back of this screen, let me just zoom out. Your screen might come with this cable, it might not come with it. If you need to assemble it, you need to assemble it, that's how it goes. But the easiest way to remove this is by taking it off the back of the screen like that. And then we're just going to have a good look around this edge and a clean up. So we're going to use the number 17 exacto blade the world famous number 17 exacto blade should we say and we're going to run all the way along this outside edge and get it cleaned up good and proper i say this in any ipad iphone repair video that i do it's very important to make sure that this edge is very clean the reason being that if it's not then the new screen is not going to stick very well and i've seen it a lot where iPad screens aren't stuck down properly, tablet screens, phone screens, and it just causes problems. It doesn't always, you think, like, there's no immediate problem to it. Over time, it starts letting dust into it. It just causes problems later on. So just make sure that it's really good and clean. And then once you've, uh, once you've scraped the thick of the adhesive off, I'm gonna go, because this is plastic, I'm gonna use isopropyl alcohol. Don't be tempted to use acetone, it'll just melt all the plastic. So use isopropyl alcohol, or adhesive removal liquid. You can use something like that. You're just gonna get it real nice and clean using a clean room wipe, just to sort of wipe it all down. Get it nice and clean. And then this is a pretty easy repair if you use the same part as I'm using, because we've got the genuine bona fide, you know, We've got the real deal Samsung screen. It even comes with the adhesive on it. A lot of these Samsung tablet screens don't come with the adhesive and I was worried. I've, I've had a little sneak peek inside the box, to be honest, I've already opened it up. But 
I was worried when I ordered the part that I couldn't get hold of the adhesive, but it actually came with an adhesive on, so it's not the end of the world. If your screen doesn't come with an adhesive, you should use some 5 mil tesla tape to stick it down to the edges. Don't be tempted to use any glues like B7000, T7000. Just a little bit on this plastic here, well, I'm going to use the spinny tool. If you're not familiar with this, it sort of spins around, creates friction and pulls off the adhesive. And it just does a real nice job of doing that for you. Uh, so there's a couple of bits on the plastic. The metal screen look nice. But there's a couple of bits on the plastic that just need a little bit of extra cleaning. Extra, extra. And I know what you're thinking. You might be thinking, you've done all this repair and you've not even used a screwdriver. That's because this is a really easy repair. Right, that's nice and clean. Let's get the new screen out now. So like I said earlier, I have already done the honours of unboxing the screen. Um, and it looks a little something like, you wouldn't even tell that which one I've just removed, but this one's not broken look, so you can tell. And we just need to make sure that it goes in here nice. It sits down, it goes in that way, doesn't it? And then it folds over. Does that make sense? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, you need to put it in. Let's zoom in. You need to be able to see this. Line it up, make sure that it's set good. And then push it down like that. Make sure that any little bits of plastic are out of the way. And then peel off all the adhesive peels. You know what I am gonna get? I'm gonna go and grab the old screen. Stick out a little piece of tape on there as well. Remember that bit? Just to make sure that ZIF connector doesn't de-ZIF. That's not a real word, by the way. Unzif. And then we're going to line this up. I'm not rushing this, by the way. It's just this This is how quick it goes. Line it up. Push it down. And then whilst I work my way around, I'll find the power button. And we'll turn it on. And that's it. You just need to test the touch and all of the functionality. Test the brightness as well. It's always worth doing. But yeah, that's job done. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Samsung Tab S8. Good night.